everyone. Let me introduce first myself. My name is Rendalyn Salingay from English Block B. I am currently studying at Hinoag City Colleges and I am currently living at Barangay Balasong, Hinoag City. I am 20 years old. I am pursuing my career as a pre-service teacher because I aim because I see myself three years from now or four years from now rendering my service as a teacher. Good day everyone! Welcome back to our lesson. So last meeting during our synchronous session, we talked about the demands of the society from the teacher as a professional. We all know that the word teacher suggests that the main responsibility of the professional teacher is to teach, right? So the teacher's primary customers is the learner. As a recap, the Deped Order Number 42 Series of 2017, also known as the Philippine Professional Standards for Teachers, define the teacher quality in the Philippines. The standards describes the expectations of the Philippine teachers, increasing levels of knowledge, practice, and professional engagement. There are seven domains that are required by a teacher to be effective in the 21st century in the Philippines. Number one, mastery of the learning content. Number two, conducive learning environment. Number three, responsive to learner diversity. Number four, national and local curriculum. Number five, apply a variety of assessment tools. Number six, establish school community partnerships. And lastly, number seven, value personal growth and professional development. Again, those are the seven domains under PPSD. The PPSD also have its career stages. Career stage number one or beginning teachers. Career stage number two or proficient teachers. Career stage number three or highly proficient teachers and career stage number four or what we call the distinguished teachers. Are you learning? I hope you are. Okay, so this time we will dig in into another lesson which is all about the demands of society from the teacher as a person. And this time, you will be able to cite the personal qualities that a professional teacher should possess. After this lesson, you will be able to First, explain the demands of society from the teacher as a person. Second, cite the personal qualities that a professional teacher should possess. I am only a teacher, so oftentimes, this is what we hear when a teacher introduces himself or herself amidst a group of professionals like doctors, lawyers, nurses, and etc. And yet, admittedly, so much is expected or demanded from a teacher. More than any professional, the teachers are subjected to scrutiny, to the mini-test detail by those they associate with. We can't deny the fact that teachers are judged more than any professionals, right? When a teacher fail to meet expectations of the public, like when she wears ultra mini skirts, fail to pay debt on time, the remark of the scrutinizing eye of the public is teacher pa naman din. Or in English, to think that he or she is a teacher. So, 
The question will be, what are the demands of the teaching profession from the teacher as a person? These can be restated as, what personal attributes or behaviors from the teacher is demanded by the teaching profession? Or, what personal traits must a teacher possess in order to function well as a professional teacher? Referring to the professional teacher, the code of ethics gives big words like possesses dignity and reputation with high moral values, adheres to, observes, in practices a set of ethical and moral principles, standards, and values. The qualities of your favorite teacher may not be very far from one another, so let us compare them with the 12 characteristics of an effective teacher gathered from a 15-year longitudinal qualitative study in more than 1,000 essays of teacher education students. The first characteristics or qualities of an effective teacher is prepared. A teacher should come to class each day ready to teach. Number two, passive. Have optimistic attitudes about teaching and about students. Number three, hold high expectations. Set no limits on students and believe that everyone can be successful. Number four, an effective teacher should be creative. They are resourceful and inventive in how they teach their classes. Number four, an effective teacher should be fair. Handle students and grading fairly. No favoritism. Number six, display a personal touch. So, the teacher should be approachable. Number seven, cultivate a sense of belonging. Have a way to make students feel welcome and comfortable in their classrooms. Number eight, compassionate. Are concerned about students' personal problems and can relate to them and their problems. Number nine, have a sense of humor. Make learning fun and do not take everything seriously. Number ten, respect students. Do not deliberately embarrass students. Remember that the teachers who give the highest respect get the highest respect. Number 11, an effective teacher should be forgiving. They do not hold grudges. And last but not the least, they admit mistakes. Quick to admit being wrong. To sum it up, Teachers are the most important member of our society, and being a teacher is not easy. There are lots of traits that teachers should possess. There are also a lot of things and challenges that we need to consider to be an effective teacher. Effective teachers have a thorough knowledge of their subject content and skills. Through this, they inspire their students a love of learning. They are not only make students feel good about school and learning, but also their work that actually results in increased student achievement. And it is very important for us to know how important to be an effective teacher is. And as a future teacher, I will do my very best to apply these good qualities and traits to motivate students and inspire them to do well and succeed in life.